Hey guys, it's Diesel back in the Nerd Cave with my March 2022 pickups video. Sorry I'm a little late. Didn't get too much um, in March. Most of the things that I got were from the uh, Monster Mania convention that I went to back in March. I'll leave a link in the description below to that video um, where I kind of showed off uh, the things I picked up as well as some of the signatures I got. Make sure to also check out my Instagram page where um, I have some photos of the celebrities signing the items at the convention so anyway so like i mentioned in that previous video vinegar syndrome and diabolic dvd have vendor stands there at the convention that i always go to hit up a couple times during the convention so i got a lot of stuff from them um i'll start off with vinegar syndrome now i know the halfway to black friday sale is coming up soon um, but I can't help myself in, in getting something um, when they're at the convention. And if you get a couple things, you get some money off. So it was, I think, three for 60 so $5 off each movie. They were selling them for 25 with the slips, so there were 20 each, so I thought that was a good deal. Can't pass that up. I'm surprised I didn't buy more. So first one up is Aunt, uh, Auntie Lee's Meat Pies. Here's the back. Pretty good artwork. <laughs> And I switched over the uh, the artwork, so here's, the, I guess, the original poster. A black comedy about cannibalism done tastefully. Okay. I have not watched this yet, but looks like it starts uh, stars Pat Morita, so I'm way more excited now than I was before. A little bit about the film and the special features. Next one up is Steel and Lace. She's tough, she's tender, she's all woman, and all machine. Okay. I don't know why I see a little bit of a theme here, right? I mean, come on. What's going on? What's going on, Vinegar Syndrome? Thank you. Okay, uh, Steel and Lace. Like I said, here is the original artwork. She's tough, she's tender, and she's all woman, and all machine. A deadly combination. A little bit about the film. So was, oh, it also has David Naughton. Oh, that's who. Yeah, okay. There he is. Some of the special features. So cheesy. <laughs> Definitely looking forward to watching this one. And next one up is the one that I was really excited for. Um, could not pass this up. And it's a double feature of Hard Rock Zombies. And the one I really wanted, Slaughterhouse Rock. Comes with a two disc set. And I switched the artwork over to Slaughterhouse just because that is the one I really wanted. Um, excited that they came out with this release. I almost picked up the um, Region B version a couple weeks ago, so glad I didn't. Here a little bit about the movies and the special features on both. I can see all of it. Pause that if you have to. And don't forget to hit up the Halfway to Black Friday sale coming up soon. They just had the Flash pre-order pre sale um, where I did pick something up. Uh, so super excited for that. My wallet's not, but I am. Next one up are the uh, releases I got from Diabolic DVD. First one up is Vigilante uh, 4K from Blue Underground with the lenticular, sorry for the glare. And here's all the information. Special features, extras, all the good stuff. Next one up is a Kino release, and it's The Antichrist. I think it's probably a Exorcist ripoff, from what I understand. And of course, I buy this, and now there's a Kino sale. So go check that out, depending on when you're watching this. I think it's still going on. I just placed a... Pretty decent order. I'll be doing a future video about that. But here's a little bit about the movie, some of the special features. Next one is Ghost Riders. It's an MVD visual release. And in my last video, I'm, I think I mistook this for Ghost Town. I thought this was a re-release of Ghost Town, which was out of print for... Uh, uh, Screen Factory, 
but it's not. But you can imagine why I thought it. I mean, I think if you look at the artwork for Ghost Town, it's a cowboy skeleton. So I, I just kind of figured it was the same thing, and apparently it is not. Here's a little bit about the movie, the bonus features. And it's no additional artwork. It's the same artwork inside. <clears throat> Next one up, it's an Arrow release of Deadly Games. I think this is an alternate slipcover, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, matte finish and glossy. Really nice. A little bit in the back here. Pause that if you have to. And here's the other artwork. I guess the new artwork. I'm not sure if this is post artwork or if they're both new artwork. I really don't know. A little bit about the movie and the special features. And here, of course, is the other artwork that's on the slip. And a booklet, which we'll quickly go through. And there you go. <laughs> Sweet shorts. Okay. And last one is um, from Diabolic DVD is the Phantasm Collection. This is from the Sphere Collection. I don't have it here. Um, I showed it off a little bit in my other video, but very quickly. There it is. It was a decent price, so I picked it up. And it has all the movies. I already had the first one, but I didn't have any of the others. It comes with the um, the upgraded scan of Phantasm 2, I think the director's cut, and all the other movies. I have not yet seen Ravager. So I think I'm going to rewatch all of them, because at this point, I don't know if I remember most of it at this point, so I'm going to... Uh, Refresh my memory. And this is, I guess, an upgrade. Um, it's probably the same release. It's the same artwork. I'm assuming it's both, yeah, from Wellgo. And here's the uh, Phantasm Steelbook remastered, which is the same disc, I'm pretty sure, in here. So that will be going on eBay. Probably. And those are my pickups from the... Um, the convention so again check out my video if you haven't already for the uh, convention pickups and then also while i was at the convention um i did receive an order from diabolic dvd um, at home so it was nice to come home and see that talked a little bit about that last video as well and this is a, a tv show that i loved as a kid um and this is the only i think official release that there is it's a french release so i haven't checked it out yet on my region free player but it's the uh, the Fox, the old 80s Fox show, Werewolf. Um, I went into more of a deep dive on this on the last video, so you can check that out. I'm not going to open everything up here. But yeah, this is all French, so... Hopefully it works. I'm sure it will. And it is a upgrade to my bootleg copy that I bought years ago at probably another convention. Um, I wish, I do like this artwork. This is like the original kind of um, artwork and I guess font of the of the show. So I will probably keep this. I mean, yeah, this is total bootleg. I'm just glad they actually numbered the discs. Um, I've got I've received ones before. Um, like I had the real Ghostbusters um, before they had a release, and it's kind of a bootleg, and it's. None of them are numbered, so you can never watch them in order. So I might keep this only because this will work on my um, my U.S. Blu-ray player. So, And because I do enjoy werewolves, um, I also picked up when I was um, ordering that uh, Jack Nicholson, Michelle Pfeiffer in Wolf. I really do enjoy this movie. Not sure if there's an actual uh, U.S. Blu-ray release. But this is region free, so. And it's an indicator release, so works for me. 
Now on to um, my regular pickups for the month. There's only four of them. Jeez, one, two, three, four. They're all from Amazon. First one up is the latest Vestron video collection series, and it's the Corys in Dream a Little Dream. Another one of those body-swapping movies from the 80s. I think this is probably the third one that I can think of, other than... Like Father, Like Son, and oh, what is the other one? I cannot think of it. Like Father, Like Son, I think is the Dudley Moore one, and Kirk Cameron. And then there is another one with Fred Savage. Um, and who else? Anyway, let me know in the comments if you can remember. I will remember as soon as I finish this video, I'm sure. Anyway, here's another one, Dream a Little Dream. A little bit about the movie, special features. I really do love these um, Vestron releases. The price points are great. Um, and yeah, I'm going to keep on getting them. I, know, I, don't, I think they just came out with the next release. I don't know if it's out yet, but they just announced it. I can't remember what it is at this point. Anyway, another, next up is another Kino release. Not Kino. Yes, Kino. I'm sorry. Uh, Kino release. This is a little annoying, like I said before, because now they have the sale, so I think I can get this for a little cheaper, but whatever. And it's uh, FX and FX2. Now, I did get this in an Amazon sale. They had, like, buy two, get one... I don't know if it was buy two, get one free, or it was just a certain percentage off if you bought three or whatever it was. So I did save a couple bucks on this anyway, so it's fine. Um, I've seen FX. I've never seen FX2. So here's a little bit about the uh, special features. No, well, okay. There's special features. Really, not much to it. But here's a little bit about the films. Brian Dennehy. Next one up is a archive collection. Um, this is another one. I'm trying to think. Maybe it was just two. I'm trying to remember what else I picked up during this sale. Am I missing a movie? I don't know. I don't think so. Anyway. Uh, Night Shift. Um, I don't think I've ever seen this. I've, I've seen like bits and pieces of it, but never the whole movie. So this is on my wish list for a while. So I picked it up. And last but not least is this is a UK, I guess, um, release. But it doesn't. Oh, yeah. Region B release. Uh, this was part of a double pack from Scream Factory that is now out of print and stupid expensive. I feel like it was mixed in with Vampire's Kiss, maybe, which is why it's probably really expensive, and that is now being re-released, I think, through MVD. And this is a Daryl Hannah, Peter O'Toole, Steven Gutenberg movie of High Spirits, if you haven't seen it. It's pretty funny. I think it still holds up. I used to watch it on HBO as a kid all the time. Um, and I think I recently watched it. It was on a streaming channel. I don't think it is anymore. Um, but this may have been another one I got for a couple bucks on Amazon, so I picked it up. And I think that's it, guys. Yeah. So these are my pickups for March uh, 2022. Again, not a lot, mostly from the convention. Um, let me know in the comments below what did you get last month. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, see you in the Nerd Cave. Okay, so I forgot a couple things. Hopefully you're still here. Um, Dream a Little Dream, wherever it is, um, was an upgrade to my Artisan DVD of Dream a Little Dream. So, this will be going on eBay as well. And, of course, like I was mentioning before, Like Father, Like Son, and the other one is Vice Versa. That's what I could not remember. So, again... Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, see you again in the Nerd Cave.